Welcome. If you're new around here, I narrate real Glitch in the Matrix stories. Now let's get into it. Story title. Someone warned me about something big. Author name. Daisy Burko. I was at a surprise birthday party for myself back in 2017. I maybe drank a single beer. I wasn't by any means under the influence of anything. I was sitting, talking to my girlfriend, when the entire room went quiet very suddenly. Like people's mouths were moving, but there weren't any sounds. Then a voice I've never heard before said, Your dad's gonna kill himself. Your dad's in pain. Then as quickly as it showed up, it left. The party noises came back. I got up checking around me as if it was some weird joke, maybe a prank. At the time, my dad was missing for a year to date. He was a narcissist, and I couldn't fathom him just killing himself for anything. It's very much not him. Anyways, two days later I was watching TV, and the same voice happened again. The room went quiet, and it said, It's time. Again, everything went back to normal. The next night, a knock is at the door. At the door is a police officer, and he basically says that my dad committed suicide a few states away from my family and myself. The voice hasn't showed up since my dad's passing. I've had some neurological tests done, psychological tests, and no doctor can explain what happened those nights. I personally think I was getting a small warning like, this is gonna happen, so be prepared. He was my best friend. Personal thoughts. First off, I'm very sorry for your loss. I know it's been a few years, but I'm sure it must still sting even just to type it out for us to read. So as far as the glitch itself, well, this is the first time I've heard of an actual voice just appearing without any obvious source. A guardian angel type does spring to mind though. Not to protect your dad, maybe it's impossible to protect him from his own choices, but maybe as you say, to brace yourself from the overwhelming shock and pain that can come from losing a family member, or anyone you care about. And I definitely don't think you're crazy. I think this probably happens all the time, but people are fearful to ever say it because, well, people would think they're crazy. At any rate, I hope your dad's in a better place now. Second story. Story title. I hallucinated a real person. Author name. Mayil Yi. I am terminally ill with an illness that is moving very slowly, but surely. I've been hallucinating from the illness. Nothing weird or glitchy about that, however, something happened to me the other night I just can't explain. I hallucinated the same woman twice in the same evening. The third time she came to me, she told me her name, even insisted on the spelling, an unusual variant. She also told me the name of her town in the USA. I'm like, what the hell? So I googled it. She existed. Died about 10 years ago. There was a photograph of her daughter, and she looked just like the woman. This person is not famous. I've never left Australia, and I have no reason to ever google her town, ever. I can't explain this one at all. Personal thoughts. I really am so sorry. There's so much pain in these glitches today. I am hoping for a miracle cure for your illness. You really never know, so please, don't lose hope. Now I think there is an ethereal connection between all of us, not in a way we currently can detect but that is revealed in fragments in those weakened moments where our mind is, well, opened. From fear maybe, or intense emotions, sometimes mind-altering substances. This doesn't mean everything you see is a hallucination. I think what you saw was more of a spirit echo. This woman probably doesn't exist, even as a ghost. But you could feel her remnants, if that makes sense. That concludes the stories for tonight. I hope you enjoyed them. 
If you did, consider leaving a like. And also if you're new, subscribing. I release three videos per week.